everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I drew this hummingbird using watercolors and color pencils. Now, I started with an initial sketch using my mechanical graphite pencil and I just lightened the entire sketch with a needed eraser. Uh, I usually use a water soluble graphite pencil because I don't want those lines of the graphite to show through and be too harsh when I start adding the layers of watercolor. But in this case, why I use the graphite uh, pencil or the regular graphite is because I want some of those lines to show through as a guide as I'm adding layers and also the colors that I'm going to be using. You're not going to be able to see any of those gra graphite lines once the entire drawing is complete. So uh, that's the reason I use the gra no regular graphite, but you can use either, either one is correct. And there's no uh, right or wrong. Both of them can work perfectly fine. So now I've just went in with a base layer of pinks and greens for the flowers in the stems and some of those little leaves. And I'm going through with some darker pinks and purples for the shadow areas on the flowers. And I'm also going to go through uh, with some shadow areas with some darker greens on the leaves as well as on the stems. Um, I'm not paying too close attention to the details on the flowers and the stems and the leaves because my focal point is the hummingbird. Um, that uh, the flowers are just basically to create the environment for the hummingbird. Um, so I'm not focusing too much on too much of detail there. And now uh, for the hummingbird, I start off with a base layer on the wings of some purples and blues just to cover the white of the paper. You will see I am going to come through uh, with some um, more details and textures later as I start adding uh, layers of watercolor and color pencil. So this is just the base layer uh, to cover the white of the paper. So if you be more interested in longer videos uh, with more in-depth explanations and art lessons and tutorials, then you can head over to my Patreon page where I offer different tiers um, offering different rewards and these are longer videos and exclusive videos to Patreon. So if you think that may be something you're interested in, then you can head over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description box below. So back to the video, um, now I'm starting to add in uh, some of the details of the feathers on the hummingbird. You can see I'm just adding a base layer of a wash of some bubbles uh, just over the lighter areas. And then I'm going to go through, um, I'm basically just mapping out different areas and just adding a wash of uh, brown as well, just to cover the areas that I'm going to be uh, painting in details uh, later. This is just to cover the white of the paper. At this stage, it looks very ugly. It's an ugly stage and it doesn't really look like anything. But as you build up the layers and add more texture and details, um, you will see it look more realistic and three-dimensional. Even though it looks patchy at the moment, uh, that's going to add to creating depth and making it look more three-dimensional. So now I'm working on the beak. Um, I'm keeping the light areas light and I'm just adding the darkest areas as well as on the eye. And now I'm just going in with some darker browns and adding in the basic shapes and directions of the little feathers on the hummingbird's head as well as on the neck area as well. I am going to refine those a little later with color pencil and add a bit more details and texture there. This is just to basically map out uh, where the little feathers are going to go and the darker areas just to basically place all the feathers and the directions of the feathers in the different areas of the bird. I'm also being careful to retain some of the lighter areas um, just so that uh, I have uh, that value difference with the lights and the darks because that's what impacts on your final piece and makes it look more realistic. So you can see I'm building up color. Um, I'm using different color browns and some reddish browns, some mid-tone browns, darker browns, just to create a variation of color. And then I'm also going through now on the wings. I'm just adding a bit more uh, shadows of the feathers where they overlap. Um, I'm just defining those a bit more uh, using the watercolors. Now remember, I'm paying close attention to my reference photo uh, as I'm working through this piece. It's very important to look carefully at your reference photo and uh, have a very accurate drawing to start off with and then just slowly build up layer upon layer and build up your image or your drawing. So now I just added um, a hint of white for the eyes. And I am using a white gouache for the 
lighter white areas. If I were to try to put white watercolor over, it's going to do nothing. You won't even see it. So white wash is better to use to cover up um, over dark areas of watercolor. So you can see now I'm going in with the color pencil and I'm starting to add those uh, textures and uh, some of the details on the wings. I'm really um, working on those lightest areas and letting those feathers uh, really pop and, and show. Also, um, I'm going to be adding more of the shadow areas. As you can see, I'm starting to basically add texture to those feathers around the face area. And you can see as I'm building it up, um, we've lost that patchy look that it had initially, as well as it's got more texture, it's looking more three-dimensional. You can see the shadows and the highlights. So, and also the shapes of the feathers. You can see the shapes of the feathers and you can see the feathers overlapping one another, which adds to it being more three-dimensional. Just refining the eyes and the beak as well, adding that lighter areas on the top of the beak, where the light is hitting the beak, as well as adding a bit more shadows on the wings. And I keep alternating between the watercolor and the color pencil as needed. Okay, so for this one, I decided to add a background. Uh, so what I'm doing now, I've got two brushes. One is a broad brush. I'm just using that to add water to an area. And I'm adding with another brush uh, some greens and just letting it uh, blend out with the water. So it's leaving a sort of a patchy look. So it looks like a little bit of a blurry look of greens with some white in between. Um, that's the kind of look I'm going for. And you can see I'm working section by section. Um, I'm not trying to work the entire area because the water is going to be uh, or dry up on the paper. So section by section allows me to work um, on the paper and not have the water dry as I'm adding because you need to have the paper wet as you're adding those uh, little specks of green. This just gives the bird an environment. So I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like and share. Feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Till the next one. Bye.